All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadash. We want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. The title of this video is uh, The Truth is Here to Those That Are Lost. Okay? Which that's uh, according to the, the, the truth that's in the scriptures. Um, I got the uh, head of the Baltimore camp. Oh, uh, shalom, brother. Zabah, shalom. And I got the third in command, uh, Hamiyan, here. Okay? Brothers are going to just go through the spirit. And bring out the uh, the scriptures, okay? So uh, if you got the scripture, you know you can bring that out. All right. You want to start with yeah. Second Corinthians the one. Second Corinthians four and one. Gotcha. This is Second Corinthians four and one. Oh, dang it. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, right? The ministry of bringing forth the truth, okay? Of what the the actual truth to life is. Okay, it's not my personal truth. It's not his personal truth or anybody else's personal truth. It's the truth according to how the one who created everything and what he, uh, what his purpose was. Okay, that's the ministry that the Lord set up people to bring out the truth. Okay, you got it. All right. As we and inside that ministry, it say men. <laughs> <laughs> ministry. Like, that's, a good point. Yeah. that's a good point. <laughs> so, yeah. As we have re received mercy, we faint not. And the Lord showed mercy onto us, okay, because why? We was we was lost before too, you know? We used to, you know, uh uh to put it uh, that the best word I can use is niggas. You know, before we came into this uh, knowledge, now we have this this uh, precious knowledge that the Lord showed mercy onto us. You know, by waking us up because all of us are worthy of death. You know, if the Lord wasn't merciful uh, as He is, then a lot of us would be we wouldn't be here. You know, but the Lord had mercy by waking us up. So the thing is that the fact that we got woke up, now we got to push this word. We got to be full, full fledged into this, this truth. That's right. You know? Yeah, I got a, a definition of ministry. I'm just sidelining, brother. Go on, go on. <clears throat> um, ministry, minist it, it, the etymology is ministry. Ministry, it means a personal service, a religious office, a position in a church. Uh, goes on to say, ministry, a service or duty. Okay? Um, goes back to the French. It's a lot of meat in this. It says it activity of a servant, duty, tax, or support. Yeah, because the thing is that we're we're here to support y'all by Shah. That's who we that's who, who hired us. Okay? This is our duty as a man to fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. As a, the book of Ecclesiastes say, okay, to fear the Lord, keep his commandments. That's right. Okay? We're servants. Okay? The Lord brought us under his company, his umbrella. Under his church. Gone. If you really think about it, because all it means is the gathering. And we here we are as brothers being gathered. Even if it's mother states, we're still technically gathered. Still yep. doing, uh, doing the ministry. Yep. Gathering and calling out. Right. You, know. God. So you got women that got all these points on the internet. Mm. And, it, and, and they don't understand they're in the church. They ain't in our church, but they're in the church. Yeah, you know, so I don't want to jump around, no, but no, the no. brother made a good point. You know, what's that? The we book the ministers. Of Ephesians? The, the book of Ephesians talk about one body, one spirit. Ephesians mm -hmm. four and four. You know yeah. about if you could get that, yeah, uh, Bubba Kassar, yeah. Ephesians four and four, and you could go back to that. that that's like one of my favorites. Because <laughs> it's only one truth to to, to life, yeah. you know. But uh, uh, a lot of people have so many different uh, opinions. Of what they, uh, you know, what they believe, going mm -hmm. off of their emotions, right. you know? Yeah, exactly. This is Ephesians 4.4. 4. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in... Jump up, jump up to the second verse, third verse. Third verse, all right. This is Ephesians 4 and 3. Endeavoring 
Shalak, yeah. Can you jump up to the <laughs> second verse? Yeah, you might as well start at the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get the meat out of it. Get the whole thing. Yep. All right? This is Ephesians 4 and 1. All right, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord be saved. Yeah, we're, we're prisoners. Yep. Unto the Lord helped us captive. Okay? <laughs> and, 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 and this is the only way that we're really going to be free. You know? That's right. Because the, the this world is they, they already held, we we already captives in this world. And this this is the, the, the worst type of bondage compared to being a, a prisoner for Yahweh Bashim Yahsha. You know, but you got it this, out. This is a dungeon. Now Salaki. this word prisoner, I looked this word up. Mm -hmm. It says a person deprived under liberty and kept under involuntary restraint. Yeah, we can't we can't willingly do our own sin. thing. Yeah, you can't do your own thing. You yeah. got you can't uh uh, even though you 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 get that that temptation, yep. you know yep. what I'm saying, of yep. uh, 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 wanting to go out and and uh, and go back to the way it's how you used to be. Yep. You yep. can't do that. No can't more. do it. Or you, the fact that you that you wanted to, uh, put the, put to death these homosexuals and killing these, uh, you can't do it right now. Yep. Yeah, yep. not right now. We're prisoners. Yeah, yep. right. Good point. All right. Yep. Beseech you that ye walk worthy of of the vacation. Wherewith ye are called. Yep. We'll read that part again. All right. Re this, revocation, I think. What is it? it vocation. Again? Vocation. Vocation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Vocation. That's a vacation. <laughs> okay. Beseech you that you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Right. With all lowly, with all lowliness, low yeah lowliness, and meekness. Why? Why? We should be low. Because we should be ashamed of the things that we did because we are worthy of death. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And and then we, we it's just being humble. You know, mm -hmm. we're not over uh and this this thing is about order, but it's not about um uh being over top of somebody and stuff like that. You know, because we all brothers at the end of the day, you know, fighting for that same goal. Mm -hmm. You got it out. Now, now you That's made fine. a good point with that. Vocation. When you look up that word, it says an entry into priesthood under religious order. Right. The brother just hit it right on the spot. Yeah, uh, hey. that, that's the spirit. That's how we know the spirit is working with brothers, man. That's right. You know? All right. With, with long suffering. Patience. Yep. Forbearing one another in love. Yeah, because the brother uh be making a point. About like certain brothers got different spirits, you know. Like for mm -hmm. for example, I may be a forward type of person, mm -hmm. but you might have another brother who may be gentle, mm -hmm. you know. And we have to find that middle ground, that you know. Said that balance uh -huh. because it's like okay, well, well, I, I can't be just straight up a, a ass. And first off, this is my brother. I gotta look at him like this is a man of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know. Uh -huh. But then. I can't just be. I gotta. I gotta know when to when to uh what do you say abound and when to not abound. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. I gotta know uh you because you, you, in this world you you end up being if you always buy yourself you end up being selfish and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know no. you can't always be thinking about yourself and it's true. No. Mm -hmm. But people in this world they're selfish, man. Okay. That's why this truth is here to you niggas, man. Because you only give a fuck about yourself, man. That's all. You know. Is. You don't get. You don't care about your people, man. You know, and then you got these fake Israelite camp groups that make it seem like they about their people, but they're not, man. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all wicked, man. You know, you you got these pastors that that's robbing the people. You know, not giving them the truth. Yeah. You, you it, 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 that 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 title goes twofold. Oh, yeah. Said the truth is said to them that are lost, mm -hmm. right? The, the truth is said to the, to the ones that are lost because you pastors are leading the the, the flock astray, man. Literally. Like these niggas, they don't they don't care nothing but about themselves, and that goes back to their mothers. Yeah, these that's, other that's cats. Like, yeah. So, so yeah. like, I was about to say the um, like a lot of niggas, like like in Baltimore, they be selling drugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that like I know you was you was talking about it like before, like you always you still had it in, in your mind, like yeah. I still couldn't sell sell that to somebody that somebody yeah. mother or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. that was pregnant and all that. Shit. Yeah. yeah, these yeah. niggas would do that. Yeah. See, the, the, the elect is not going to be a grimy nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even in the world, the elect has some form of conscience yeah. that the Lord has bestowed upon them. Conscience, honor within themselves. Yep. Now, there's some guys who's hardcore, don't get me wrong. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, it's, might be a stick up guy, but then guess what? He ain't gonna go rob no ninety eight year old lady, you know, with yeah. a bad leg, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah, cause um, <laughs> like 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 our people, they will rob their own people. Yeah, you know, it's like yeah. come on, that like you 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 showing that you don't care. Yeah. Back in the day when our yeah. people did did things according to the law, yeah. Like if an animal died of itself, you don't give that to your uh brother. Right. You give that to another nation. That's right. But but a nigga, these grimy niggas, they sell it to somebody yep. extra money. Yep. <laughs> this is a, a, a non-GMO. Right yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Jake. That's Jake, all Jake, 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 look, man, if you gave Jake the power right now to say, the Lord said, you know what? The earth is bestowed upon you so-called Negroes. Oh, they had destroyed this earth oh, in the day. Man. You had the gangs. In the day. You had the gangs, and Bloods and Crips. They got missiles on this side. They got... Nuclear weapons on that side. <laughs> like in that movie, Don't Be in the Middle. Yeah. The motherfucker opened the mail truck and he had a missile yeah, in the back. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> That's Jake, boy. This is why you don't give niggas anything. You don't, this is why niggas can't have nice things. But to see, the Lord has destroyed us to that low point. Yeah. The fact that Jake cannot inherit the kingdom. The, uh, uh, we're not even ready for it right now, man. Yeah. yeah. You know? We wouldn't know what to do with the kingdom. I imagine the Lord gave us spiritual powers right now, man. There you go, sons. Boom. You can fly from here to there. Jake be Jake be to drop out the truth. Jake be flying yeah, yeah, bitches. Yeah, I got I got my own spiritual powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking selfies with it. Yeah. Like I just had to eat a mic today. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Jake be flying bitches from one one fucking side of the earth to the other and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, all kinds of crazy shit, man. Yeah. Mm, uh, Goddamn. All right, uh, that's crazy. You gotta have a little humor, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. It says endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Right, because this is we're people of peace. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta get that. Uh, that uh, you gotta go through war to get that peace. True. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That that's that's the only way that this this we gonna get our peace, yeah, yeah. the kingdom. So when a brother is uh uh pro it and a brother is a little bit more peaceful, yeah. You know it's what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a balance. You mm-hmm. know, you can't just go out there and just straight kill all kill all everybody. You know, and just rebuke everybody. But sometimes you gotta know when when who to rebuke and who not to rebuke. Yeah, that's true. You know, you you might see some Edomite and it might be in the spirit. Uh, that's this is going to cause us some problems. Uh, we're going to lay off of him. Mm. Might be a so-called black woman with the weed. Uh, now nah, we're going to lay off of her. Yeah, you know it's a spiritual thing, man. Yeah. You know, mm. next thing you know, she having a whole gang members up at your camp and shit, man. Mm. Yeah. And then you crying. Uh, we're not worried about the, the the fucking nigga woman. We got the Lord on our side. But then you got to question yourself, man. Is the Lord really with you on your discernments and your making your, your decisions? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, can you get that scripture that you had in Proverbs? Yeah, I have it. It's locked in, brothers. No, you're good because yeah. go, what you just said goes with this scripture. Yeah. That's why if you're not in some form of order, I, I encourage brothers, you know, if you're in the truth, it's encouraged. I hear people say, get on the comment board, I ain't worried about no camp. Camp say nothing but trouble. Well, guess what? It's trouble when you're not in one. Yeah. To be honest, we, you know, you can start your own camp, but if you're not under some type of order, because mm-hmm. all of us, even GOCC, IUIC, they all learn under a banner, some form of order. Mm-hmm. Then nobody just wake up today and say, you know what? I got the truth. Yeah. It had to be taught to you. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, go ahead, I. Uh, this is Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, yep. but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. That's, it's, that's straight into the point. What the brother just said, you were about to make a point on that? No, I was just, I was just, I said the same thing I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. Yep. A companion of fools, you know, because a lot of our people are foolish, you know, they don't, um, they're lost. You mm-hmm. know, that they, the discernment, a fool, a fool is somebody who lacks discernment, you know, void of judgment. Yeah, it's the same way how, we, how it is in school. You go to school, you see all these wild niggas, and then you see the group that just chill and lay back. They not, they did not do anything. They minded their business. They made 
I mean, they doing what they're supposed to do just to get the hell out of school because it's a prison. They don't want to be stuck there. But then you got the niggas. They always about to be clowning around, doing some dumb shit, following fools, getting in trouble all the time. Why waste your time with that? We, that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be setting an example for when the other elect comes in, when they're new in the spirit. Yeah. We can't be following after what these people do. Done. You got it. Uh, you can go back to, uh, yeah, that one right there. Okay. Oh, the other one? No, no, that one. Second okay. Corinthians. Yeah, four and one. Yeah. Yeah. This is Second Corinthians four and one. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy. Because, oh. uh, like you said about the camps, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, the camps is nothing but really a brotherhood, you mm-hmm. know? You got uh, elder brothers that have been doing it for for a minute, you mm-hmm. know? And teaching you, through through which is a family, the order and the structure of how, how the kingdom is going to go. See, when we're when we in the kingdom... It ain't going to be like yo, all, all the, all right, now everybody, it's 144,000 people on the on the chariots of GMS, sure. you know? We know that. It's not going to happen, you know? But but the thing is that when, when we are in the kingdom, brothers are going to be in the spirit, and it's not going to be no, we're going out there on the highway and hedges to uh to speak in the kingdom, mm-hmm. you know? When we're in the kingdom, we're going we're gonna to know who we are, you know, we're not going to have to, to teach our people once again, mm-hmm. you know, to come in and this is the this is the brotherhood right here that you should be getting with, you know. In the kingdom, all of our people going going to love one another. It ain't going to be none of that adultery, you know, because you, a person that's an adulterer, you, you selfish, you only care about yourself, you know. You don't care about put, bringing the truth or fear in your heart by sending you outside, you know, but you got it out. All right. But have renounced the hidden things of this dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully. Yeah, being a devil, mm-hmm. you know, deceiver. Okay, a lot mm-hmm. of people. The scriptures talk about that. People look at people look at us as deceivers, but yet we're true. You know. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we look like we bullshitting, like like when you tell somebody to be straightforward and go at a woman, you know, women already know 15 minutes and you talking to the whatever they want to give you to, to give it up to you or not, or if they want to be uh your man, or, you know, your woman, mm-hmm. you know, they already know that. It don't take no, no 20, uh, 20, um, days, 20 weeks to find that out, mm-hmm. you know, you, you, if you, if you don't believe in that theory, Test it out for yourself. Ask a woman, do it takes 15 minutes, and just have a conversation with them there. And you'll see from yourself that it works right there. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. You yeah. got a scripture? It's like it. Yeah, yeah. No, I point. was going on your point. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. I, I remember this old here used to tell me years ago, by the time a woman came over, when a, by the time a woman come over your house, she pretty much know what time it is. Yeah. yeah. She already know. Mm-hmm. But it's up to you to do that, you know, mm-hmm. that service to get her on board. Yeah. <laughs> Women look for leaders. In t- today's Jake are not leaders, man. You know, we're the leaders. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 and through the spirit, the elect is the leaders that's going to bring in the, and lead the new kingdom to come in. Yeah. Um, this one is read the scripture. Uh, John 15 and 18. Uh, it says, um, if the world hate you, let me go to 17. These things I command you that ye love one another. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why he said that, it'll, it'll go on, the reason why. He said, if the world hate you, know that it hated me before it hate you. So why would he say love one another, but yet the world hated you? Because all of us that are going through these different infirmities and sicknesses and ailments, with, I'm talking about not just physical, mm-hmm. but with our families and stuff like this, you got to know as brothers, we got to band together and, and, and accept, uh, bear one another's burdens and let a brother know, hey man, the world, hey, I'm going through the same shit, mm-hmm. you know, because it hates me too. Why does it hate us? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man, yep. you know, and Yahweh Shah is not te- physically here, but spiritually he's here. Mm-hmm. And the same people that hated Yahweh Shah back then are here today. Hate Yahweh Shah today. 
we are the representations of Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh goes on to say, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Yeah. You know? And why? Because we are representations. That's another video. We're representations of Yahweh Shah. So the same niggas that hated Yahweh Shah back then are going to come in the truth and act like they're all about loving the truth and they're going to hate him again. Yep. You know? So I'm just, pick, you know, land no, back no, no, of what the brother said, you know? The world already don't, lo don't love you, man. So you expect uh, um, repercussions and issues. Uh, go ahead, Ox. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, go ahead. No, I was about to say, because, okay, you know, we could just uh, end it after this okay. point, you know. Wanted to try to keep it short, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah the spirit moving. Yeah, yeah, the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hold on, let me, I got to find something back there. Yeah, 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 go on. Go on. But like yeah. you said, that's a video for another yeah, another yeah. time, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you go, you go with the yeah, spirit. Uh, Second Corinthians uh, four, mm -hmm. and uh, I know I kind of jumped a little bit, but I just two. wanted to get to the point. You know, yeah, I got it. Um, the world, the world don't love you, man. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and because of this truth, you're gonna be hated. Yeah. The scripture says, "Many shall be hated for my name's sake." Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. All right. This is go back to our Second Corinthians four and two. But by man, <clears throat> but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh. Right, because all right, the scriptures say let let God be true and every man a liar. Yep. You know, the the thing is when we speak and we we deliver this ministry onto people, okay, we we we're, we're trying to get it into your head that this is the truth. You know, that this is the confidence, this is the faith that you should have, you know, and, and, and the thing is that when we say these things to people, they look at it like, what? Nah, nah, that ain't the truth, you know, mm -hmm. when we say, Yahweh Shai was a, a, a so-called black man, yeah, you know, that his name wasn't Jesus, what? That wasn't what I was taught, you know, because you, the truth is here to you because you lost, man. You already think that you fell. Or for the simple fact that you know the, the name of the Lord, but then you still call him Christ. Yeah. That's a that that, that that's ass backwards. How are you gonna call him how are you gonna claim you know the Hebrew name, what you do, but then still just call on Christ because everybody else just recognizes that name? Mm -hmm. We're not like we're not gonna call on that name. We're gonna call on the name of the Heavenly Father because that's his name. Right. And and the um it's, when they say uh, to every man's conscience, you know, in the sight of Yahweh, because we actually fear the Lord, okay, that we can't bring out not, we can't bring out things of these scriptures that that uh, aren't facts, you yeah. know. When we speak, we we don't speak of our own. own. Yeah, this is it. this is the mm -hmm. when 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 uh when you wake up, right? When when any of when anybody woke up when when, when brothers woke up right yeah did, did we wake up because we saw how um a brother was speaking and calling a bro calling Esau the devil no didn't even hear about it what we what, what we woke up because oh shoot we we, we know we the Israelites yeah, it's in the scriptures we read it yeah. and we saw it for ourselves the Lord opened up our understanding right. Mm -hmm. That's how we woke up. We didn't wake up because we following men. Sure. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Once you get the understanding, then everything starts coming to peak, come together. But of course, you still have to learn. Yeah. You just can't claim, oh, now I know everything. It doesn't work that way. You still have, we, we even still have things to learn. Yeah. yeah. Apostles still learn things. We're, we're more than us. We, we still got a lot to learn. God. I have a small scripture right real quick. Yeah, you good. You good. You got it. This is Revelations 3 and 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have set I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Mm. And that goes straight to the point, because you, no matter how much you try to deny the truth, you can't shut it. It's still going to come out regardless. For thou hast a little strength, 
and has kept my word and has not denied my name. So that name goes by a long way. Even in the street, we, as we still learn, that still goes by a long way. And you and can't shut it up. Uh, yeah. the, and when they say open uh, open door that no man can shut, because it's up to you how about you outside to open that door. Perfect. You know, it's, that's your, your mind. You open up your spirit to, to understand the truth. You know? You know what? That's the beautiful part about it. Because it does say... <clears throat> I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. When it says, ah, who's, who's it talking about? It's talking about Yahweh Bashin Yahweh He's the one who opens that, open, uh, opens that door. God. That means nobody can take you out of the truth but Yahweh Shah. Exactly. Yahweh Bashin Yahweh no, no man can shut it. It didn't say he could shut it. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you in the truth, yeah, man, when you get out, taken out of the truth and it's shut, that means the Lord did that to you, man. Yeah. I don't believe in the 12 tribe sign no more. Yeah. But hell with it. You know? How do people do that, man? But that's the Lord. That's how they do it. Yeah. That's the Lord showing the examples of how he can bug you the hell out, man. That's true. Wait, you can finish it up on in the, hey, show the last out. point. All right. This is first Corinthians, uh, second Corinthians four and three. Uh, well, we already get started, right. so you can come in and I'll, I'll But if I'll our gospel week, be hid, we finish. it is hid to them okay. that are lost. Come on in. Yeah, it says, if our gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost. What's the word gospel means? Good news, okay? The truth, okay? What's the what's to happen? That we're going to be set on high, okay? And how about seeing our size, the one who's going to set us on high, you know? Right. But if you, if you, if you lost... You know, you're not going to understand anything that we just said. But if it's for you, then guess what? Y'all about to y'all side just opened up that door for you, man. You know? And ain't nobody going to be able to shut it. And them floodgates are going to start. <laughs> that knowledge is just going to start ushering in, man. You know? But with that, man, you know, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. And uh, say Shalom, you know, uh, uh, to your brothers, man. Shalom. Shalom. Death to America. Death to America. <laughs> Death to America. <laughs>